Hey friends, welcome back after the channel. Hey, I got a quick tip for you VW boys out there. Uh, today I'm having to rob a crank timing gear off of one of my uh, older crankshafts. And uh, so I wanna put it on my 74 millimeter stroker crank that I have. And uh, to do so, uh, there's really a correct tool to use. It is a bearing puller that you can get from, you know, lots of different VW suppliers. It's about 70, 80 bucks, not, not too bad, but oddly enough, that's one tool, a VW tool that I just haven't ever bought yet, which I probably need to. But I want this today and I don't have that tool. So I gotta come up with a different option. You're gonna be tempted to wanna use one of these pullers to do that. Don't be that guy because um, I have done that back in the past before. And while I did was successful in getting the uh, gear off, I did kind of booger it up a little bit. Uh, now, granted I was able to clean it up by just sort of deburring it but let's let's try not to do that so i'm going to show you another alternative uh call it a nickel's worth of free advice uh don't take it or don't take it i'm just showing you what i did uh, if you don't have that tool i guess the proper name for this tool would be a bearing separator and it's probably i think you flip that around to use it the correct way but i need a flat surface and i have a hydraulic press so uh this is what i'm going to do uh, I'm going to clean this guy up once I get it off. Unfortunately, this uh, brass gear is shot, but this is a good gear. It just needs to be cleaned up. It's uh, nasty. Uh, before you do this, um, you want to take that little C-clip off, which I just started jacking this thing, so it's you know it's not going to show up the uh, little ring there. But anyways, uh, no nothing really else to explain. She'll she'll come out. Just be easy with it, and you won't uh, screw up your, uh, or booger up your gear there. Now, I will say, you do not want to do this if you're wanting to save that bearing, because what happens is this will kind of cut into that uh, bearing, because it's aluminum, and this would be a case where you'd only use it if, if you were just going to discard that old bearing. Anyways, I'm just going to spare the labor pains and show you the baby. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick my hands underneath here, that way I can... Um, get this off without the crank falling down and voila so until next video we'll see you